Yo, what's up everyone? This is Cray and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. So today we are waiting for our Siege Battle Tournament Round 1 to start. We are gonna be up against Goliath NB as well. So I'm not really sure what they're gonna dish out in terms of their outer defenses. So we'll just take a look at that and try to win all our swords, right? <laughs> yeah, we got about 10 seconds left before we start. Okay, come on. We need to win all 10, alright? I do not want to lose any matches in the tournament. So, Tower 12 over here. We're seeing some LDs, mainly the Tianlangs on that tower. For the net force, they're running the Dark Siri, Orion, and Asher. Okay. I think we should have a very good lineup against that. A lot of Kikis over here as well for the Tower 9. Tower 5 will be exactly the same. They do have two towers of the Dark Siri. And for the Tower 4, we are seeing some Rahuls and Van Cleef, Zeratu as well. Alright boys and girls, we are starting off our first match of the day up against this Dark Siri, Orion and Asher. So this one, I'll be running the double win Dark unit over here. We've never lost before with this lineup. So hopefully, alright, we pray that the Orion does not go crazy because there's always a chance to lose if the Orion procs like hell, alright? So turn 1 looking pretty safe. No stuns from the opponent. Let's go. We control the Orion. Push back. Perfect. Alright. I think we cleanse away that slow debuff. Can we sleep? Looking good. <laughs> Once we can land our sleep, it means that we have a very good shot at winning. Means the RNG is good. Okay, glancing onto my Cha-Cha. I don't really care about that. Probably I should have controlled the Asher, but I just want to bring down this Orion as soon as possible though. Oh, that Dark Siri hits so hard! Yo, we already attack attack that unit, man. Did not get an armor break onto the Siri. Oh shit! Wait, 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 we need to cleanse. Come on, come on, Roy! One procker. One procker is all I need. Orion, stop moving. <laughs> okay, no heals yet. Nice control. Pushback. Proc. Okay, now mind. That's the downside of the Roid lineup. Oh shit. Last hit, man. Yo. I think we can finish off that unit now. Hey. Relax, Asher. Okay, Orion definitely did. Hey, stop. <laughs> so scary, man. Oh, nice. Alright. Every time Orion die already means you're gonna win because there's no more armor break on their end. And then here, we just try to kill off the Dark Siri because that's probably the unit which hits the hardest. You can see earlier, even with the attack attack, it still hits so goddamn hard. Is it on a crit damage build? Even my Siri doesn't do that. <laughs> yeah, you can see, the Siri is critting every single time. And it's also pretty squishy as well. So I'm assuming it's on a speed crit damage attack. Probably on violent as well. I wasn't sure, I didn't pay attention whether it violent proc, but it definitely did not stun my team. So I'm assuming Violin will Violin destroy kind of thing on speed crit damage attack. It kind of makes sense because most of the time when you're fighting this kind of lineup, you're gonna kill off the Orion first. Now we're gonna be facing this very flashy defense, the Dark Siri, Kiki, and Celia. So with Juno in the field, it means that we should be able to heal up pretty consistently with the passive. There's gonna be sleeps, there's gonna be random debuffs coming out from the Kiki. Tetra there to just make it so that it's just one turn. Uh, hopefully our Fingen don't die though because we do need him for the armor break. So let's just start working on to the Siri. Alright, nice armor break landed. Our Juno is gonna heal up from that. And our team will be definitely sustaining pretty well because we do have... Petra for the heals as well. So the Dark Siri already almost did. Last hit. Let's go. 
They do not have heals on their end. So this is looking real good for us. However, our thing in, Yeah, with the glancing, we can't land the armor break. But it's just gonna take some time, right? Once our Tetra moves, everything is cleansed up as well. Uh, yeah, let's just shield up. Play it safe. Armor break now landed onto the Kiki. Nice stun. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, no bullshit this tournament, alright? We are gonna make sure that we utilize all our swords really well. I do not want to lose at all during this uh, tournament series. We already troll too much during the the season. <laughs> yeah, every time with Gianna, holy shit. One Gianna means one loss. <laughs> Stupid unit. Okay, we are definitely not playing that unit anymore, right? For the tournament, at least. Maybe coming into season 16 during the mid-season, we'll definitely just try to bring her in. See whether she wants to perform. If she does, then yeah, we'll give her a little bit of chance. If she does not, then back to the storage it is. <laughs> so this one, Celia left all alone. Every time she tries to sleep something, we are definitely healing up as well. So I like this team a lot. Uh, Destroy isn't really kicking in that much, but we do not need it. We're gonna dive into this Tower 12. It's the Kakano, Adriana, and Odin. I want to troll a little bit, you know? I remember running the Triana, Storm, and Mokwo lineup. 100% win rate so far, although it's very sketchy. <laughs> but I think we play it rather safe, alright? We'll go with the Kakano, Huadem, and Riley this time. Maybe later on, we'll bring that team in. We'll see about that. So this one, okay, guess there ain't no defense. Oi! Huadam actually died? Hey, this not not funny, man. Holy shit! Are we going to lose? Zero stacks, Odin? Okay, we kill him off. Riley, I need you to sustain this. It's very important. Ooh, last hit. Can the normal attack kill? <laughs> Oh, man, I'll definitely take this win. What a good comeback. Yeah, our Riley back to safety zone. Holy shit. Wow, I did not expect my Huadam to die that easily, dude. We have like damage reduction from win. We are also plus 42k HP, you know? Wow. That Odin hits like a truck. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, from here, they already lost two of the damage dealers. It's just gonna take some time to bring down this Adriana, but we are safe. This Tower 5 just opened up, and it's the Net 4 Tower once again. So just gonna be bringing in the Triana Roid and Cha-Cha. I think if we got no choice, if we have to fight this defense five times, I'm gonna bring in this lineup five times as well. <laughs> because so far, it seems good. We haven't lost before. So, just trying to get as many wins as we can get. Holy shit! Our Cha Cha almost died. Okay, good pushback. Yeah, I got no choice but to heal up. <laughs> Yo, that slow debuff on my right, man. That ain't cool. We ain't gonna be moving that much. 30% slower. Can we sleep? Yo. Push back. Okay, good. At least we are controlling the Orion. And this Siri always two turns, man. Bro, where's my two turns? Wait a minute. We landed the attack, attack onto the Dark Siri. All right. Even with the glancing, we'll definitely take it. Now, no sleep onto the Orion. He didn't violent proc. So should we work onto the Siri instead? It's so squishy. Yeah. 10k damage already almost dying. <laughs> wow, my Cha Cha big crit. Our support unit actually brought down that unit. <laughs> Nicely done. Alright, so now we can slowly control this Orion. Uh, the only way for him to possibly win right now is whereby the Orion gets an armor break, massacre, he violent procs three times, massacre again. 
And then something dies. I don't think that it's gonna happen. I do not want to jinx anything as well, so... We'll just try to play it meticulously. We'll focus on the on the objective, alright? So over here, we attack, attack the Asher. Make sure that his damage is insignificant. Unfortunately, double resistance there. Oh man, our right kick getting stunned up. Okay, this Asher seems squishier than the Orion. For some reason. Hmm. 4.5k crit. Of course he procs, right? So we got the provoke once again. We're just gonna go with the immunity here. Play it safe. This Orion is on despair. But he goes so many turns. <laughs> I just noticed. Yeah. He keep on procking with the S1. I thought it was on violent initially. I didn't pay attention. But yeah, he, he actually normal attack stun. Interesting. I swear to god, the meta nowadays for Net5 is just like Chandra, Byungchul, and a random LD unit. So this one, we are seeing a Van Cleef for some reason. I feel the full defense lineup kind of makes sense. We have our Alia and Velajol on damage reduction from Dark. Our Fingen is just on additional damage build to dish out as much damage as we can. We are also going a little bit greedy with Destroy this time. So, Trick of Water comes. I am not sure whether this Chandra is on Despair, but we'll definitely take it. No AoE stuns on our end. We can follow up with the Sanctuary this time. And I guess we start working on to the Chandra. Because the Van Cleef does have the hug. Yeah, no point aiming him. Wow! Strip stun. <laughs> I don't like that. On the bright side, the Chandra already half health. Okay, nice armor break landed. Let's go. We go for the fourth skill once again. We try to protect our Valajol as long as possible. Yo, no crit. Man, we needed one crit there. Now we need to try to land the armor break again onto this Chandra. Okay, we got it. Nice additional turn. So I'm assuming this Van Cleef is on a swift build. Because earlier he moved first on the team. I guess it could be on violent as well, I'm not sure. Oh wow. The two turn stun though. <laughs> Actually quite scary this unit. But he's not hitting that hard. That is the bright side. Alright. So even with the branding armor break, our Alia is still sustaining pretty well. As I say that, they proc twice on the Byungcho. We can heal up once again. Okay, we just need to spit onto this onto this unit. We play it safe first. Because I think my Fingen should be able to secure the kill. Alright, there we go. 6k per hit. That's essentially around like 18, 19,000. Now, 3v1 against Byungcho. And this is where our Fingen's destroy is gonna come in handy, alright? So as time goes by... The HP of this Byungcho is going to be reduced. It means it's going to be a lot easier to bring it down. So just going to go for the normal attack here. I don't think we try to put up any buffs. Because I do not want the Byungcho to steal it. Yeah, just normal attack all the way should do the trick. Whenever we are facing all this kind of Sigrid Odins, I am definitely going to be bringing in the Eladra, Leo, and Dina. The full win lineup. Make sure that your units does have the damage reduction from wind. For Diana, you can go a little bit greedy. Mine is on additional damage based on attack. So the Sigrid did not use the buff. However, I do not want to transform yet because there's a chance for this Chandra to stun us. So we'll wait for one turn. Alright, now we can do it. Inevitable wound is coming. Come on. Ooh, very low on health already. This Sigrid... Made out from paper, bro. Yeah, he's already dead. <laughs> and now with the 5 stacks onto the Odin, but without the attack buff, even our Diana can, can sustain that. And we can just start working onto him, honestly, because 0 stacks right now. Yeah, he dies towards the normal attack, and there's nothing this Chandra can do. We just heal up our Diana here. Giving them a little bit of chance, I'm too lazy to transform. 
<laughs> I feel at this point we'll just test the consistency of this team, alright? So another Triada Roid and Chata coming up into your faces, boys. I got no choice. I need all the wins I can get. So we're gonna cleanse up our Roid here and once again we start working on to the Orion. I think once we kill off the Orion, we can probably just press the auto button because I don't see a way for this Dark Siri and Asher to kill off my team after that. We'll just go for the attack attack this time onto her face. Wow, even with that, it still hits my right 5k. Interesting. <laughs> okay, good. We got the pushback and provoke onto the Asher as well. So once my right moves, I think we should be able to finish off this Orion. However, with that stun, but nice additional turn. Okay, we got to provoke and push back. Massacre means that he's not going to be healing up. Okay, Orion is dead, and this is definitely going to be another W. We are down to our last three swords, and we are going to be fighting this Gelnir, Debay, and Zen. So with this one, I feel like I should be able to outspeed this guy's lineup. Adriana buff, our Sonia will be able to potentially kill off something. I guess we work onto the Debay first because that's the big damage dealer. I don't see any damage output coming out from the Zen and the Gelnir, so we can just ignore those two. Alright, 72,000 onto the Debay. Ah, oh, my Miang ain't able to kill off anything. But fair enough, you know, Zen usually on like some... Supportive rune, uh, speed, HP, HP kind of thing. So I guess we kind of need to turn cycle wait for our Sonia to have the gut crush again. Do we have the buff? Oh, next turn. Yeah, I think we hold on to it. Oh, but with this glancing now though. Yeah, the glancing onto our Sonia, that's not good. Can we get a lucky crit? Shit. <laughs> oh man, uh, they're just gonna be stalling us. Because we know the Miang ain't gonna kill shit. Uh, we need to wait for the Sonya and the Adriana buff again, dude. Come on, man. Uh, yeah, let's just heal up. Make sure our Sonya don't die. Okay, next turn we have the gut crush, but we do not have the buff yet. Yeah, the turn cycling here ain't that great. So we did some decent damage onto the Zen. We can flop with the Guard Crush 40k without attack buff. And now this Gjolnir. Yeah, he's just a sitting duck at this point. Just basically a rock. He can't do anything. <laughs> he's just soaking up damage, that's all. So if we can land the Oblivion, will be nice. But obviously this unit does have very high resistance. Our Adriana will never be able to land it. <laughs> because we are just running it on a full speed lineup on that rune set. So now we do have the buff, attack, buff, speed, buff. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Another 73,000 onto his face. We are seeing another flashy defense consisting of the Pontos Fermion and a Perna. So this one will run double water. We got heals, we got Manon for the damage output. And last but not least, we'll fit in a Halfast, which will be our light tank to soak up the damage coming out from that Fermion and the Perna. So with this one, I guess it's gonna take a very long time because we do not have any strips for that Pontos. Ah, uh, now that I think about it, I should have changed my Manon to destroy though. What am I thinking? <laughs> Oh, this is gonna take 10 years? Yeah? What the hell are we killing off first? I, I think we work onto the Perna. Yeah, let's see how much damage we can actually deal against it. Uh, 10k without armor break, without defense buff as well. Okay, first life of Perna going down soon. However, 3 turns and a holy ground once again. Yeah, I think this one we'll just press the auto. I think it's gonna take a very long time. Oh my god, we actually took 8 minutes to bring down a single Perna. The Pontos keep on violent proccing into the holy ground. <laughs> uh, I guess this team ain't that good. 
yeah, if we needed the tower fast, I think it's pretty much GG. Our guild confirmed scoreless. <laughs> so this one, oh, almost a 10 minute fight. Like I said, I think I should have ran destroy onto the manon to definitely hasten things up. The how fast destroy also almost 40% on his hit. That means, you know, with single target damage coming out from the opponent, this match was a very long time. <laughs> Alright, so finally we got the armor break off onto the Fermion. And from here on out, our Manon is gonna clean up the field. We are down to our last and final sword and we are gonna secure our 10 wins with this lineup. Alright, so with the Camilla Belial Ariel providing the HP leader, everything on the opponent's side crits on the normal attack. It means that our Camilla is going to soak up 50% less damage done, right? And our Belial is just gonna be slowly working one by one with the Ignore defense. So there's a hug onto the Chandra, we can't touch him yet. Okay, you can prop however much you want, I don't really give a shit about that. Nice branding onto the Belial, I need him to die, alright? Continue working onto him. Nice. Alright, once my unit wakes up, something is definitely dead. Okay, nice freeze onto the Chandra. Okay, with the hugs as well, it means that our Belial will turn cycle a lot faster. <laughs> okay, good. Now, we are going to move, right? Okay. Oh, perfect. 58,000 onto the Chandra. Our Belial goes down again, it's fine. Yeah, we can just heal up, play it safe. Yeah, you can stun my Ariel from here, it's okay. We don't need the Ariel, honestly. Our Ariel is just there to provide the HP leader. <laughs> Who gives a shit about his heal? We do not want to heal up the Belial, right? And our Camilla is sustaining so well. Okay, come on, another couple more turns for our Belial to have the Madness Judgment. Okay, Ban Official Block. Who cares? Can we freeze? Bro, can our Camilla proc to hasten things up? Yo, the additional turn, man, not cool. So now another round of hug comes. As long as the Byongcho don't heal up the Rahul, uh, we should be able to bring down this unit all right perfect now we just need a lucky crit onto this fat boy over here do we have the second skill crit ah <sighs> shit we need to wait for 36 rounds <laughs> yeah i'm just gonna press auto this one definitely a win so for this siege we did get 10 wins out of 10 the Siege Battle Tournament Round 1 has finally come to an end and we got 357 crystals followed by 1076 guild points. We'll head over to check out the map layout at the end of that fight. So we are definitely progressing onwards to Round 2. We locked in two of the Tenda skins. Hopefully we can get Tianlong soon. <laughs> so yeah, here's the map layout at the end of that fight and we can head over to open up the rubbish box as well. There's no more shiny left, so we just take the last one over here. What do we get? 150 crystals, a potato rune, a bunch of manas that we definitely need because every time we play Siege, we are burning quite a lot of mana, changing runes here and there, right? So for this one, in terms of round 2, Lazy Time will be up against boss. Beer Club challenging Red Devils over there. That's gonna be really interesting. Alpha House will be fighting Zenith if I'm not mistaken because they are still winning their match. It haven't ended yet. Yep. And last but not least, we will be up against SWSR plus one. So make sure to stay tuned for round two. That's gonna be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you do, please make sure to like it. And also if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as it helps out the channel a ton. Take care, stay safe my friends, and I'll catch you guys in the next. Peace out.